Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. We are in Manchester. We are headed off for some food now. We have just got here. It is quarter to nine. It's late. Jack's tummies are rumbling. So we're gonna go head off and get food now. Neither of us are that hungry. So we're gonna go to somewhere that looks like it has quite light food and we're gonna go somewhere close to the hotel that we've just checked in in. Cause we're not hungry. We're a little bit tired. We're done with traveling. It's called the Oust House. Where we're going, it looks like a mainly outdoor venue. It looks like it's got loaded fries, burgers, gyros, which I freaking love. So we're gonna try there. Tomorrow will be the exciting day. Tomorrow we're gonna try all the places that were found on TikTok. This one we just found on maps. Let's get going. So we tried going to Bauhaus, 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 is that what it's called? Oust House. Oust House. There's something called Bauhaus. House. Yeah, it's an office building somewhere. <laughs> right, okay. But it was insanely busy and very, very loud. Then we tried to go to, uh, what was it called? Australasia. But they'd stopped serving food because obviously it's quite late. So we've ended up at Comptoir Le Benias. Um It's a chain, but we don't have any up home. So we're here now. Okay, good morning everyone. It is now the next day. So, last night, we struggled to find somewhere. Like I said, we ended up at that Lebanese place. Do you want to, what, 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 what would you say about it? So, food-wise, we had, we got some olives for, like, just, like, nibbly starter bits. Then we got some chips to share. Then what was, yours was a chicken wrap, chicken wrap. plate. Yeah. yeah. And mine was chicken... Skewers. No, it wasn't. I can't remember the name of it. But mm -hmm. I have a bit of a different opinion of Jack. But overall, it was nice, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah, the restaurant was lovely. It was yeah. so colourful. Staff were really nice. Yeah, staff. really, really lovely. And we did turn up quite late because we got here late. So they were really, really accommodating. They were like, we need to get your order in quick if you want to eat. Yeah. So do it now. Food-wise... I mine's a bit complicated so if you are new to the channel I have a metaphobia and something in the salad triggered that for me and not in a way that like I, I thought it was going to make me sick but it just reminded me of something and that kind of changed the meal for me so it is a bit of like a skewered review for me because I was like panicking about sick kind of things but the chicken was lovely the chicken was really really Juicy, really well cooked, nice marinade. I really like the chips. Yeah, the chips really, were really, really nice. Olives were nice as well. Huge amount of olives, like yeah. such a good I amount. I didn't finish them. No. What about yours? Because you had a chicken wrap. Yeah, it was really good. It was really good. I, I really liked the salad. The wrap was really nice as well. I think it was a similar chicken glaze to yours. So, like, really juicy and nice. And typical Lebanese wrap where it's like lovely and crispy yeah, and. like warm. I think it was a warm wrap. Yeah. So it was like nice and, nice and soft. Yeah. yeah. That was last night. This morning we have been for breakfast. We just went to the hotel breakfast because we got it included in the stay. It is at the, what's it called? The Plant and Craft. This chop, is chop and Plant. The Chop and Plant. Something like that. We're staying yeah. at the Marriott. The restaurant itself, beautiful. Yeah. Isn't it so stunning? It is nice. It is so nice. Beautiful green cities. Really nice. This, is, this whole hotel is a converted fa factory or warehouse? Warehouse. One of the other. Yeah, yeah I think it's a warehouse. Yeah. Uh, the room is like a converted warehouse. You're literally in like a brick wall. It is a beautiful restaurant. Yeah. Breakfast wise, it was okay. Yeah. It wasn't. So I freaking love hotel breakfast, right? I love them. I'm like a connoisseur of hotel breakfast. My favorite so far has been Hotel Indigo mm -hmm. before COVID. Yeah really really good and obviously like a broad hotel breakfast incredible but this one was just like it's okay a hotel breakfast yeah. there was a buffet continental and hot food and there was a menu that you can order stuff off mm -hmm. we both ordered stuff on the off the menu and went around the buffet the continental was a bit lacking yeah i think limited. there wasn't many meats and cheeses there were a few but like the cheeses were like baby bell <laughs> and then there was like a slice of cheddar mm -hmm. and the meats just didn't look great the pastries and stuff there was a good amount of pastries yeah the yeah. there wasn't any plain croissants which always annoys me there's loads of places that don't do plain croissants they'll do pan au chocolat mm -hmm. why am i going so white what the heck the hot breakfast we didn't try but we're not 
we don't really do hot breakfasts, no, do we? No, not that much anymore. No. So we can't really talk about that. They had nice options for drinks, though. Then I ordered, uh, well, do you want to talk about what you ordered? You, you talk about someone sneeze. Okay. <laughs> I ordered, a, 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 on the menu, it said breakfast brioche bun. bun. And in the, like, below bit, it was like, you can get bacon, sausage, or, what was the other option? Was it the thing? No, I don't think so. And I was like, I'll have that. And then Jack ordered, what was it just oats or porridge? Porridge. 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 What was yours um, like? It was okay. It was just porridge. There was nothing special about it. It was quite a small portion as well. Yeah. Uh, it came with some lovely fruit on top though. Yeah. It was really, yeah. really nice. And then Jack went and got honey from the buffet yeah. to make it a bit more sweet. I mean, I've, had, I've had better porridge before in other places. They just make it nicer. It just felt like they maybe chuffed at the microwave. Yeah. Did that way kind of thing. Mm -hmm. so. And then mine came and it wasn't in a brioche bun. I was like, I've, I don't know if we're wrong in this. And that bread was brioche, but it was just Bread. bread. I've like cut all my. I don't like like toasted hard bread like that because it cut my mouth is ridiculous and I've got like, like loads of cuts in the top of my mouth now and it just didn't come in a brioche bun, which yeah. it changed the the meal to me and also I didn't really like the sausages. Yeah. Sausages are such a personal taste. Like they are such a personal taste, but for me, I just didn't like them. Yeah. So I maybe say. If you find, I don't know how much the breakfast is by itself because, like I say, we have it included within the hotel stay. Yeah. But there are better places you could go for breakfast. Yeah. But if you like just a standard hotel breakfast for ease, it was fine. Yeah. It was good. It was yeah. quite like we've been places where the breakfast's smaller. So that's it for so far. We're planning on going out for lunch. We're not sure yet, but we will catch up with you then. I'm vlogging between songs because the music's really loud in here. We are now out for lunch. We are at Chow, which is a garlic. You might have seen it on TikTok because it seems to have gone big. The song is finished. Uh, yeah, we're here for lunch. because it was so freaking loud in that restaurant yeah i could not vlog whatsoever let's recap we went to chow garlic breads they went big on tiktok and you could tell they went big on tiktok because i was not the only content creator in that shop and i was shown up <laughs> this tiktok i was in and he has so i get a little bit funny with filming i just get a little bit like i don't want to be in anyone's way i don't want to make anyone feel weird about it uh, i don't want like restaurants to get weird about it and so i was like slyly filming trying not to get anybody in and this tiktoker he was just like mate can i can i get in and film with you whilst you're making the pizzas and he went in the little kitchen area he got the food in front of the menu he was doing like shots i did not do any of that because i get scared but i mean i, I said this to jack it's what happens when you slack I should have got in there first and then I could have maybe been in the kitchen filming with them as well but never mind anyway yeah. went viral on TikTok so this is a pizza place and they've just opened a new one that mainly does garlic breads right around the corner yeah. there was another there was a pizza one yeah that I think is more of like a restaurant because it was closed yeah yeah 
it feels like a little bit of like a more lunchy one doesn't it yeah. it feels yeah. like you know the like like chicken shops yeah where it's kind of just like really really basic but the food's good yeah do you know what I mean? You know Where it's mean, like vinyl floor and stuff like that. It, feel, it felt like that. Yeah. But I got the Nduya, which is garlic bread, cheese, honey, and Nduya sausage. And you got... It was a vegan peanut butter one. What was on it? Uh, cheese, peanut butter, and a little parma ham on top. Oh, what's that? Well. I yeah. didn't see any ham. Pa no, um, parmesan. Sorry. Parmesan, <laughs> not parmesan. Yeah, but it was mainly just peanut butter and cheese. Yeah, they were a great size. They were like they look little. They were like a but they were like a personal size pizza at Domino's, weren't they? Like an eight inch. Yeah, I think maybe an eight inch is probably. Yeah. I don't know. They looked small, but they are sickly because they are so good. Yeah. So it's a good size. I I did not finish, not but equally. I've not. I, I will, I'll explain in a sec. I'm not feeling great, so I didn't finish. You finished yours, which normally. Story, complete yeah. switch so what did you think i thought it was really good mm -hmm. i really enjoyed it yeah um, i was a bit worried at first because it I, I was worried that it was going to be a little bit like greasy like a like a like a just takeaway type like a yeah pizza, yeah you're not a fan shop type of thing. like takeaway pizzas yeah. yeah but um it was it was really good really, yeah. really good i really enjoyed it yeah it was really it didn't fill us as much as i thought it would either right i thought this was going to really fill us and i think breakfast this morning filled us more <laughs> yeah i want to say as well like it's not just like a oh it's a garlic bread it's a gimmicky kind of thing it was good freaking base like the wasn't the crust so the thick. crust was so good it, it, it wasn't like the crust just poofed up with just air in the middle it was just all bread wasn't it all yeah. the way through and crispy it was it was good yeah. so yeah would recommend it's definitely it's not like a place you can go like a re it's not a restaurant feel it's not a restaurant vibe it feels like a like a chicken shop or a slice a street, place street foody type place we'll see. Ki yeah, yeah kinda and okay. i think it's quite new isn't it yeah, I so, think so maybe it'll get done up a bit I think, more. I think I overheard the guy saying that he he's been doing it for three years. Yeah, but so he, I think it's and the other new. shop, yeah. and then this one's just opened. But yeah, that's it for now. I am not feeling great. I am autistic, and it's just I'm not doing well currently. So I don't think we're going to go anywhere until we have booked food to go to Australia Australasia tonight because it looks so pretty we both aren't like ooh the food blown away by the food yeah, yeah but it looks so stunning in that restaurant so like there's definitely things that we think we'll have and that yeah. the, the food looks fancy yeah on like photos of it and stuff like that so yeah it should be it should be good yeah so we have that booked in at quarter to 10 because yeah. We ate late. It's, it's like 20 to 6 now and we're still feeling we're pretty still full. We're still full. So, so hopefully we'll be feeling okay. They do have small plates though. So even if we just go just have some and have or little things, have little, yeah. that'll be fine. So that is going to be it for Fine. now. Good morning, everyone. It is now the next day. Let's chat about last night. Uh, also, I'm having a, like, if the camera is having a nightmare dealing with our different skin tones. We're just having so a snuggle. <laughs> My face is out to be right next to Jack because if I go forward, I am just insanely bright because Jack's more tan than me. <laughs> so, anniversary dinner last night was lovely. The food was yeah. so good. The restaurant itself was beautiful, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah, it, was. it was so much bigger than we thought. Mm. If you are coming, the main Australasia restaurant is below ground because we didn't realise this when we were looking for it the other night. It is a glass pyramid with some stairs down. That is Australasia. And then when you go down, it's it's quite, it's bigger than what you think. Yeah. And then it also has the kitchen on view at the end, which is delightful. We were sitting kind of like right in the middle of the restaurant. It looks like it had like private dining areas at the side as well, which were a little bit more quiet from where we were. It was quite loud. Obviously this is coming from an autistic person. So my loud probably isn't the same as everybody's loud. Sorry, I'm holding the socks. I need to put my socks on. Would, what would you, would you say it was loud? I say it was it was quite loud, yeah. yeah. Um, the the tannin sign from a non autistic point of view is like, if you can like hear me very easily because my voice is quite low. Yeah. And I think it was hard to hear talk, you. wasn't it? Yeah. But, but. They had an attainment on whilst everyone was eating. They had a violinist on, which was good. They turned her music really really high up though, mm -hmm. and. It was still really, really good. She did a great job. The food, we weren't that hungry, so we just decided to do small plates. So the waitress recommended three to four plates per person. Because we weren't that hungry, we did two plates each and then ordered a side. I had the pork belly 
and the tempura prawns and then Jack had the chicken skewers oh, oh satay. satay satay chicken skewers and then yeah the uh, tofu dumplings the side that we had was tender stem broccoli yeah so good it's the really food good. was so good yeah. I definitely feel like if you come in for like a meal <laughs> you three to four plates is correct mm -hmm. because I I was I wasn't hungry but I was like I could eat another plate yeah. my favorite dish was the pork belly by far it was incredible it was so freaking good did you prefer one of yours mine was probably the chicken the chicken, chicken sat there yeah they had desserts but we didn't have any they looked like they had kind of like fancy one the, per the people next to us got one of those balls that you pour like the hot caramel over and it melts which looks yeah, really cool it was like souffle as wasn't it as well yeah uh -huh. the dress code was kind of like a mix so we didn't dress up hugely and we didn't feel out of sorts but there were people literally there in like suits but there was also people there in sweats so you could definitely wear, wear what you want yeah. but I'd maybe aim for smart casual or above that was last night we really really thoroughly enjoyed it would highly recommend going it was a really nice meal it was wasn't it yeah and we were saying it was kind of the perfect mix between fancy and not fancy so you didn't feel like what is going on with this menu is really really pretentious and also there wasn't pretentious Sa like sizing yeah. servants Servant servants sizes. yeah so you knew what was going on with the menu it was good serving sizes but it still felt really fancy so it was really really good yeah we are off to breakfast now we have decided that we're not going to do the hotel breakfast this morning we are off to federal cafe bar for some breakfast so super excited because it looks like it has like a really good <laughs> like french toasty and pancakey stuff and that? brunch menu yeah should we go yeah let's get going it's a terrible angle because there's windows behind me so if i do this it was like, oh actually it's alright. We've ended up at the Ivy because we tried Federal, queue out the door, then we tried Ezra Grill and there was a queue out the door. So we've ended up at the Ivy because we need to get back to the hotel before one, <laughs> but never mind. The Ivy doesn't have breakfast on either, it just has brunch, so there's like four options currently, but that's what we're doing. So I think we're going to end up having, I think I'm going to have like eggs. Real, and I think you're gonna go for the pancakes. Yeah. It's nice and quiet in here, and the Ivy building is stunning. It is so freaking beautiful on the outside, so we're at the Ivy. about to set off that is all the food that we are doing in Manchester because we're about to head off home we really enjoyed breakfast it was really nice it was a brunch menu rather than a breakfast menu I don't think they're doing breakfast at the minute they're only doing brunch because of the summertime I think the ivy in Manchester is stunning it's so beautiful on the outside it is the mo one of the most beautiful buildings I've ever seen do you agree? Yeah, yeah. On the inside, it's very typical Ivy. I've only ever been to the Ivy in York, which is tiny. So this was a lot bigger. It was lovely. Like three or four stories, wasn't it? Yeah, it was huge. We were just on the first floor. There was plants everywhere, which we love because we are plant parents. We love them. Yeah. So there was plants everywhere. Food-wise, really nice. Mm -hmm. Brunch-wise, so it said brunch. I would say there was only four brunch items. The rest yeah. was just the normal brunch, yeah. the normal menu. menu. Yeah. And the brunch items were kind of brunch rather than breakfast, weren't they? Because I got chips with my eggs royale. What did you get? Pancakes. And then they gave us the dessert menu after we were finished as well. So it was definitely like a brunchy vibe. A meal type of thing. Yeah. yeah. My eggs royale was really, really nice. You could tell it was high quality salmon, but you could tell they skimped out on the salmon. They could have put more on. It was a bit like yeah. few and far between. My fruit was incredible. Like, the fruit on the pancakes was incredible, wasn't it? It was like... They had like... Um, huge. Yeah, yeah. They were just huge. huge. And they were like really juicy it was really nice really nice the eggs on mine you could tell they were really high quality because the yolks were just like bright orange they were very very good mm. and the sweet potato fries oh my oh, god amazing, yeah. they were so nice they were so good and it came with like this mayo we can't figure out which mayo it was he did tell us but i didn't i couldn't hear him it was a type of mayo it was like, like smoky, like barbecuey flavors vinegary oh yeah. so good and it worked so well with the sweet potato ah oh, it was 
it was good and they did ask as well if it was like we were here for a special occasion and we said it was an anniversary and we got a, like a complimentary profiterole with a congratulations thing on top which was really really nice because that's the only place that's done anything for our anniversary yeah. we told australasia last night that it was our anniversary and stuff and they didn't really yeah. do anything but we didn't order a dessert like it wasn't like they brought out a dessert and they put yeah. congratulations on oh, yeah. i think they would have done that if we'd got one yeah the, the, the table next to us had a congratulations on their dessert plate so it must have been like a graduation or something like that so oh no i'm talking about the ivy oh right not sorry. australasia right sorry. yeah australasia maybe they would have done something if we got a dessert yeah. but what i was saying was with the ivy it wasn't because we got dessert yeah. would they he was like do you want any dessert and we were like no I wanted to, I really, really wanted to, but we did not have time. We had to get back to the hotel yeah. to check out. But I really wanted to, but we were like, no. And then he brought one over anyway, which was really, really nice. And it had a little congratulations chocolate on it and it made me really, really happy. Yeah. Since we haven't been anywhere for food, we did go to home, was it called home? Yeah. Home for some drinks, which was lovely. They have a really nice outdoor bit that has a cantilever. So even when it rains, you can still sit outside and they have a few like city event things going on outside as well. So there was a screen up for Wimbledon and stuff. It just, it's a really lovely area, we think. The, what's it what was it called first street. first street first street it's really really lovely it feels really really clean modern it just feels really summery and nice yeah. i really enjoy yeah. being in that area and home seems lovely we did go for food there last time we were in here but like when we came down for the gig i'll put a picture up here we bought some pizzas and i genuinely think it's one of the best pizzas i've ever had yeah. the cheese on this pizza was Incredible. insane it was so good i can't remember what you had i think it was like had, had, had ham and stuff on i think yeah i can't remember yeah but the pizzas from there, really, really good. But there is a restaurant upstairs that we didn't go to. We just went to like the cafe thing on the uh, bottom floor. Really, really, really nice. So that is gonna conclude this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did find it useful, please let me know, comment, like the video and subscribe if you are new. I try to do food tours semi-regularly, but if people subscribe, I'll be able to do them more. So please subscribe. I will link everything down below. If you have any more, any more recommendations of places to go when we come next, please let us know because I think we'll definitely be coming back to Manchester. Yeah. But anyway, I shall hopefully see you in another video. Bye. Bye.